we are back. Yes, sir. I just got done eating some cereal. Welcome back to the Watch It With My Queen channel, man. We are back. Yes, sir. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to the goddamn Watch It With My Queen channel, man. I'm too sad. I'm too. I'm too used to saying, um, uh, you know what I'm saying. My Queen channel, man. That's the main channel. Make sure you guys subscribe, though, man. Either way, we are the Aqua Force. Make sure you guys, you know what I'm saying, hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. I'm going to say it multiple, multiple times until you do it. Scroll down and hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to the goddamn Watch McQueen channel because we're posting videos every goddamn day multiple times a day, man. You don't want to miss it because when I'm not in the main channel, I'm over here and we're going dumb over here. And for the small amount of people who are here, y'all are some real niggas, okay? So! Make sure y'all join the goddamn vibe. Make sure you guys join the train, man. Because guess what? We're going to grow either way. We're going to get big on this channel either way. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. You already know how we coming on the main channel. It's only a matter of time on this channel. You going to see. Let's get to it. Wait, 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 wait. Celebs who cross the line with their fans. My bad. I didn't even introduce the truth of the video. You know what I'm saying? That's what we got today. Celebs who cross the line with their fans. Um, I don't really know what uh, crossing the line entails in this, uh, but we're going to find out, man. It's not uncommon for us to connect with celebrities and want to be their friends, or maybe Is that right? something more. But there's a lot of baggage when it comes to getting with celebrities that we often don't think about. Okay. And that hasn't stopped these famous people from getting a little too cozy with their fans. Get a little cozier with the richest by subscribing to our channel. Give a little love tap to that red subscribe button. I'm not subscribed to nothing, girl. To that gray bell. To turn on. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Leaving. We got Justin Bieber. Biebs. Since his split with Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber has gotten quite the reputation for getting too close with his fans. All you need to do is be at the right place at the right time, and you might end up being Bieber's new bestie. Or hello, pal. Not only does he party with his fans, attend sporting events with them, and go out to eat, but he's also known for getting into some bedroom-related activities as well. Wink, wink. And for his fan base known as Believers, this just amplifies the beacon of hope that they too will one day get to snuggle up with their favorite singer. Bieber has also been in some trouble for posting photos with unnamed women, and some of these women have even been threatened by some of his most faithful fans. So if you want to get close with Justin Bieber, you'll have to get ready to deal with some of his more unstable fans. Currently, it seems that Bieber is off the market, but we don't know how long that will end up lasting. Hey, man, ain't nothing wrong with it, Bieber. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with it, sir. You know, I don't know why this girl is trying to make it seem like it's not normal to be clapping some of these fangirls, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it happens. Do you know? Sometimes they're just too fine. For real. I mean, listen to me, man. Like, before I was Megan McQueen, man, I had no idea about this life. You know? I'm saying literally the moment I turned into Megan McQueen and the first time I saw a girl just DM me saying I'm cute just because she knows who I am, that was just the game-changing mindset for me. I was like, wow. I really just got some pussy thrown at me because I'm Megan McQueen. Never in my life has that ever happened to me. Ever. Up until that point. Now, you know what I'm saying? I'm Megan McQueen, okay? I'm a star. But Justin Bieber is Justin Bieber. I'm going to be, bro, listen to me, y'all. We're, we're going to be going crazy. I want you to understand. Like, we're going to be the best. I want you to understand that. But until that happens... Right now, Justin Bieber is Justin Bieber. So if we're at where we're at right now, imagine what Justin Bieber, imagine the type of hoes that Justin Bieber is getting. It's ridiculous. So I don't blame him, man. And I know he getting all the big booty white girls, you know what I'm saying? I know he getting all types of, man, I even see black girls when you're messing with, with Bieber, man. It honestly don't matter what race it is, you know what I'm saying? If you got money and you got clout, especially on Justin Bieber's level, you get an ass of all different shapes and sizes and colors and flavors. And that's facts. Plus, when there are articles dedicated to the most gorgeous women that he's been with, you know there's a pattern to be followed. Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. While some people may call it getting too close, Anne Hathaway calls it finding the love of 
her life. Is that right? Sometimes it can be a good thing for a celeb to fall for a fan. And Hathaway's story is a great example. She looks like a dyke. In 2012, Hathaway shocked the world when she married her longtime love, Adam Schulman. That nigga ugly. Who was this guy and where did he come from? He was actually a fan who was a jewelry designer for his day job. They met in 2008 and it was actually love at first sight. What? But they each thought that the other was in a relationship. Hmm. Once the two realized that they were both single, <laughs> what the hell? then they were able to pursue their love. They got engaged in November 2011 and by then Hathaway was filming Les Miserables and they just couldn't plan a wedding. They finally tied the knot and they couldn't be happier. Hathaway has said that there is a peace and calm about Schulman that she didn't have in previous relationships. Plus, he's a great support system for her when she doesn't get the roles that she wants. It looks like getting with a fan was a positive thing for Hathaway. And Schulman is a guy who is good at keeping her grounded. Hey, James kudos to my nigga, man. Got himself a rich girl. James Franco can definitely be seen as one of the more eccentric celebrities in the business who isn't afraid to take on some risky projects. While he's known for his relationships with other female celebrities, it seems that he is also into getting it on with his fans. Unfortunately, thanks to social media, there's no such thing as kiss and tell anymore. In 2014, Franco seemed to fall hard for a fan named Lucy on Instagram. Mm. When he started texting Lucy, she had a hard time believing that it was THE James Franco that she was talking to. So she made him prove his identity. But that's not all that happened. Their little hookup couldn't happen because she was just 17 years old. What? When Franco asked Lucy not to tell her friends, it didn't take long for the story to go public, and the celebrity found himself in the middle of a scandal. Damn. Franco had to do a decent amount of damage control, and he's likely much more cautious now when it comes to asking for fan hookups. Asking for some ID would be a great start, James. Yeah, man. Jennifer Love Hewitt. While you may be able to stay discreet about your interactions with fans, sometimes it's your co-stars that end up spilling the beans. We've all been there and had that special friend who just couldn't keep their mouth shut. Well, Lee Campbell and Man. Scott Wolf were being interviewed on the show Watch What Happens Live, the host was asking a series of questions to the party of five castmates. One of the questions was, who hooked up with the most fans? Right. While her name was never spoken, Wolf gestured to Jennifer Love Hewitt's picture and indicated that it was her, while Campbell had a shocked look on her face. When the episode aired, people were shocked and the world waited with bated breath to see what Jennifer Love Hewitt was going to say. Right. But she ended up staying silent. Wolf backtracked his statement on Twitter, saying it was just a joke. Oh. Hmm. Perhaps Hewitt did some damage control behind the scenes and got Wolf to take back what he said? Was Hewitt super accommodating with her fans? In this case, the world may never know. Mm. Considering that both parties are staying pretty quiet about this, it looks more suspicious rather than squashing any rumors. Wow. Hanson. Hmm. Ah, uh, Hanson. They came into our lives in 1997 with their hit song, Mba. And a lot of people thought they were girls. Some of us teeny boppers may have even gotten teased for our love of Hanson. Once Who the hell is Hanson? If you ever went to a Hanson public event, you might have gone deaf from the screaming fangirls. It seems that every girl around the world wanted to be Mrs. Hanson, regardless of which brother they got with. What is even more Oh, okay, so it's like some a boy band? managed to stay pretty professional during they all met their wives at one of their concerts. For example, the middle brother Taylor met his wife Natalie Bryant backstage at a concert. Some Damn. Of the crazier fans believe that she trapped him by getting pregnant so that he'd marry her. Regardless of what people think, he seems to be very happy with her. The other two brothers, Isaac it's a good looking Matt, dude. got super close with their select fans and married them as well. Damn. All in all, all three Hanson brothers are now married and each seem to have several children. Also, they're brothers. Featured in their latest music video, I was born. Let's take a break from this celebrity. Never heard of them niggas. With a quiz. We've been talking about celebrities and their fans. Boy but bands. Do celebs have their own fairy tale? Of course. Which American actress became a princess in the 1950s? Find out the answer at the end of the video. Nobody give a damn about that. Harry Styles. One Direction was one of the most popular boy bands around. <laughs> Even though they split in 2016, they still have a faithful fan base comparable to groups like the Backstreet Boys and insane so if these guys ever want to get close to a fan they really don't have to try very hard not at all Back in 2015 harry styles and the rest of the group played a game of never have i ever on the ellen degeneres show during the game one of the statements was never have i ever hooked up with a fan 
and basically Styles had to come clean and admit to his previous hookup. Granted, he also had to admit that he had a song written about him by ex-Killer Swift, so it makes us wonder about the timeline of this singer's love life. He was dating Taylor Swift. That's an L. <laughs> Matter of fact, it's not an L because she's rich. But it is an L because she's ass. Absolutely wild, and we're thrilled to find out that Styles was single at the time. This topic also brought up some rumors that more of them may have actually gone further with a few fans. And these white boys just don't know what they missing, man. Come to the big booty side, y'all. Okay, stop messing with them damn twigs. Stop messing with the big titties and no ass. It's not in no more, okay? I know it's always been in for y'all, okay? But I love my whites. And I'm just trying to look out for y'all, man. Come to the big booty side, man. Come to the thick side, okay? Come over here. The women that we have to offer on this side are just so amazing, man. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all are insecure some because you guys feel like, you know what I'm saying, whatever you have in your pants just may not be enough. Doesn't matter. Just come over here and try it, man. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful women are the ones with curves, not with bones. Reese Witherspoon. After Reese Witherspoon's marriage to Ryan Philippe fell apart, she really wasn't ready for love. In fact, she was more focused on trying to heal from a painful past. Then she met Jim Toth, who was not only a fan of the actress's work, but he also worked at the agency that represented her. You could say that Toth was a paid fan, since his agency would get a commission from the gigs that she got. That must have made the office workday really interesting. The two ended up falling in love, and then they got married in March 2011. They went on to have a son together named Tennessee. She has two kids with Philippe, and they are now in their teens. Have you seen her daughter, Ava? She's definitely Reese's mini-me. Hmm. Witherspoon is also seeing a bit of a comeback in her career. She owes it all to talk and says that he is a great support system for her. It all goes to show that sometimes a fairy tale love story can happen with a fan. In fact, the fan... Where the hell was that? And why was it in the video? Then a Hollywood star. And we got a slit. We got a slit lip. When Derek Jeter was still playing baseball for the New York Yankees, he became known as a bit of a playboy. In fact, he made headlines. My nigga Derek Jeter. Provided a bit of a package deal with his one night stands. After the woman spends a night with him at his former bachelor pad in Trump Tower, there was a car waiting for her to take her home. Not really subtle with the hint there, Derek. Inside the car was a gift basket with signed memorabilia, including a signed baseball. There was even one time he gave a girl the same basket twice because he forgot that he had hooked up with her previously. Damn! Given that Jeter didn't like to go out, he would often host parties at home, so the women came to him, so to speak. Today, Jeter has since retired from playing baseball, settled down, and is now married to former fashion model Hannah Davis. Hmm. But his wham-bam, thank you ma'am antics are still remembered. Ah, oh, the price of getting too close to your fans. At least Jeter gave them something to remember him by, or at least something to sell on eBay for some extra cash. Julia Roberts. Well, there are rampant rumors that Julia Roberts' marriage to Daniel Motor is on the rocks, she insists that they're still going strong. They have quite the inspirational romance. Motor was a cameraman who admired Roberts from afar. Of course, he was a fan, but he couldn't make a move because she was dating actor Benjamin Bratt. When the stars aligned, romance happened in 2000. And they started seeing each other. But Motor was still technically married to Vera Steinberg Motor. That girl on the bottom right is bad as hell. <coughs> Zoe something. Daytime soap operas had nothing on this dynamic. Once the divorce was finalized in 2002, Motor and Roberts were married. Of course, there were some issues with the... Isn't that guy... Oh, of course, we got another slate lit. Roberts has a bit of a home record. Their relationship has had some bumps... But they still seem to be Man, bro, I would have hated to. Three children together, and that sucks. Some ugly ass kids. He's gotten award nominations for his work as a cinematographer, and Roberts says that he's a great support system. Roberts is, is one of them a redhead too. Damn. Says that he's a great support system. Pasty. Roberts is in an awkward <laughs> period where she's aged out of being a young starlet, but too young to start playing older roles. So she's leaned on Motor for emotional support. Jake Paul. Jake Paul has certainly gotten himself... Cringiest nigga I've ever seen. ...thanks to social media and YouTube. With the creation of 
creation of Team 10, people can now watch all of Paul's shenanigans unfold in real time. Of course, with the amount of fame that he has, and how the house is so accessible to his fans, it's no shock that Paul may have crossed the line a few times. He is known to hook up with female members of the Team 10 house, which is a bit awkward because they've signed a contract with him. His drama with Alyssa Violet unfolded on YouTube, and people watched as she was kicked out of the house. Damn. Paul ended up marrying Erica Castell, another member of the Team 10 house, who had been there She's since ass. While Paul recently crossed a line by making fun of a fan's accent, he really got it together to help the victims of Hurricane Harvey by collecting donations from his fans and traveling to Houston himself to make deliveries. Well, Paul Wait a minute. A he collected... So he got himself together by getting donations from his fans and delivering that money instead of his own money. And that's bouncing back from that? Why not just use your own money? The nigga got plenty of it. <laughs> what? what the hell? The nigga... <laughs> The nigga said, I'm not, I'm going to give some donations, but I'm not going to use my money. I'm going to use y'all niggas money. Close. Whatever, man. Fans, the dynamics are all different from hookups to marriage <sighs> to bad jokes to helping humanity. Huh? Which one would you prefer? Which American actress became a princess? In the Nobody movie? care about that, girl. I told you in the beginning of the video. All right, y'all, so make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to the goddamn Watch McQueen channel because we're posting videos every goddamn day multiple times a day, man. Yes, sir, we going down. Be a part of it.